I can fly! He can fly! Jetpacks are finally ready to fly, but only in New Zealand. Hey Flyers, Trace here for D News with an important announcement about the future. Jetpacks are here! They're here and they're there and they're gonna be everywhere soon. Hopefully. If you're a watcher of DNews, then you have probably heard of the Martin Jetpack. It's a compact personal flight system that's being designed for personal flight. And it just received a manned flight permit in New Zealand where the company is located. 30 years ago, Glenn Martin started working on a jetpack in his garage, and now he's got the P-12, a gas-powered dual-cylinder flight package that can travel 13 feet per second. With this new permit, Martin Aircraft's jetpack pilot can strap himself or herself into this contraption and cruise into the sky, sort of. Currently, pilots have flown mainly inside hangars. Dummies, however, have flown outside already. Back in 2011, a dummy flew in a remote-controlled Martin jetpack 5,000 feet above New Zealand's Canterbury Plains. Before you get pictures in your head of a soaring adventure above Middle Earth, the permits don't actually allow none of that. Instead, the New Zealand Civil Aviation Authority allowed flights 20 feet above uninhabited ground or 25 feet above water. Yippee! <laughs> Martin says with this expansion of their flight program, they'll be able to advance much more rapidly. The current plan is to use the Martin for defense and emergency response purposes, but a personal version should be available in the next couple of years. I want one now! So why is it taking so long? Weight, flight control, and thrust are really difficult to miniaturize. The first rocket belt was created by Bell Labs in the 1960s. It burned regular fuel, it looked fantastic, and it could be flown by a single pilot. Even James Bond used one. But its flight time was really short. The days where we will get jetpacks like in the Rocketeer are a long way off. Back in 2008, Glenn Martin did tell the New York Times if people are waiting for a backpack-sized jetpack, they are not going to be flying one in their lifetime. In comparison, in Martin, jetpacks, you. Yeah. The P-12 is 400 pounds heavy and seven feet tall. It is gigantic. But continuing in the Bell Labs tradition, a Mexican company called TAM has created a rocket belt that burns hydrogen peroxide to save weight. It's only 140 pounds. Unfortunately, while the Martin can sustain flight for 30 minutes, the TAM can fly for about 30 seconds. Another company, Jetpack International, created the H2O2, which also uses hydrogen peroxide to save weight and looks more backpack-like, though its flight time is still only 30 three seconds. JPI has a secret project called Falcon as well, and that should use rocket fuel and will fly for something like 19 minutes. If it's backpack sized, it might be their ticket to fame, but we won't really know because they're a bit behind schedule. So it would seem at the moment, if you want a personal flying machine, the Martin is the only real option. 30 seconds is great for demonstration or escape, but not really for enjoyable flying. What say you? Would you rather fly the massive Martin P-12 or one of those littler rocket belts from TAM and JPI? Share your thoughts with us and we look forward to seeing you next time on D News. I'm Trace, catch you later.